Hey everybody, welcome to What the Flick, the uh, final episode of Homeland of season three. I, I, One would think the final episode ever, it really, felt, the way they wrote it. It yeah. felt yeah. like a series finale, didn't yeah. it? Mm. And did they not know if it's coming back? It's coming back, no, right? It's coming back. No, it's, it's coming back. back. They just season. they cleared this late anyway. Are they yeah. going to go like Lost style flashbacks? <laughs> we haven't even covered really what happened, yeah. but sorry. Uh, uh, Brad Air, like Robert Abley, uh, uh, Alonzo Duralde, and uh, Ben Mankiewicz. So uh, uh, the star was this episode. That's the. Carrie sketched the star. I, I read a lot of things that, that suggested that this was a emotionally moving, certainly more emotional than, than Homeland is used to, less suspenseful, more emotional. But I, I, didn't, I didn't find it that emotional. I always thought, I thought they're heightened. I, I noticed with the writing, a lot of the most heightened emotional moments, they just put cuss words in there. Did you notice that? Where it's like, this is so fucking hard, Brody. <laughs> it's just like, stop it. I fucking love you so much. And like the only, the only fucking normal thing in this whole fucking world. <laughs> I, had, I had a problem with that. Other than that, I thought it was emotional. I, I, yeah, I think I was wrong, is what I'm, I'm guessing. It's an emotional portrait of Tourette's sufferers. <laughs> and, you know. I, know yeah, I, I found it that emotional because it was, it was predictable to me. Because I knew, I knew what was going to happen in this episode. So I, knew I, because I, you actually knew or knew just because you knew? Knew just because you just could tell yeah. that they were going to finally... How could they, how how could they not? possibly live and, and so, be in a season four? And I, just, I think the writing could have been a little better about the, the goodbyes and stuff. They're just the, the, I think the tension between them wasn't the same as it had been in previous episodes. And I think you needed to end... The tension between... The tension between Carrie and, 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 uh, and Brody. And Brody uh, it didn't give their... I mean, I, I like that she went to the, the... The way they shot the execution was really well done and kind of chillingly kind of just there. That, that, that was, I, I like that they didn't push that a whole lot. I, I think it's what you said for me. I, I think that because he had to die, mm -hmm. that when he did, and what was a, 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 certainly an interestingly shot and set up and developed scene there of his death, I guess because I so expected it, I, I didn't, I, 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 I wasn't, you know, I had no amazement in it, and I thought, all right, now she's gonna get up and yell. And see, see, I uh, underestimate how smart I am. Mm -hmm. Or, no, normally I'm right. Let's put it that way. No, nor, the, 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 the number of times when I have been wrong have been so, it's been such a huge number that I've stopped assuming I'm right. I got you. I got you. Is, is probably a better way to put it. And so I was like, uh, he's probably going to die. No. Right. And then I'll be like, and then I went back to like, oh my God, I'm right. And they're raising his body. I'm like, I'm, I'm right. I'm actually right for once. <laughs> what I did find strange, so there were plenty of like silly moments in this. Like they were unintentionally silly, like the way he dies, the face he's making, which is just kind of like, no, oh, this is happening. <laughs> and then the other After one went. 12 Years a Slave, I think the, the, the <laughs> ante on the hanged face has been up. So you really need <laughs> to right. bring your A game. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there's that. And then the other thing is like white chick on a fence, like yelling Brody in English, like pretty well accented but before the guy knocks her off. Like we're not going to take note to like this woman like crying and feeling like. Well, I guess and, and, and actually speaking of English, no one, uh, how does Brody suddenly forget how to speak Farsi? When, the, when, when he's getting the phone from the guy and like holding him at gunpoint, you know, in the in the the SUV, it's like, wait, you know how to speak this language? They, how are you now not communicating? Right. You know? They, they kind of covered that. They said that he because he speaks Arabic and he learned enough Farsi to the do interviews. the TV yeah. interviews. Oh, okay. But but you know, on the phone is what it would say in a TV interview. You yeah, know, to that hanging way too fast. I, I, I mean, I, I think I this uh, this is an hour that really could have been two episodes. Mm -hmm. I mean, because I think you need to acknowledge that it's a little weird that he just it was just like he was caught and then he was hung. I mean, yeah. it, it was. It, I mean, uh, he was the hero in Iran. There was so little With dramatic tension that I thought, well, surely this isn't going to be what happens because y yeah. this show is yeah. better than that. And like, nope, that's it. Where's well, a nice and, torture scene between yeah. Brody and Javadi? I mean, this was a, a nice. And this was a packed hour like when my TiVo kicked in it was like boom we're yeah, starting yeah. no opening credits no previously well, on Homeland it was like it's a full hour of stuff and and not well used I thought you know I, I agree there was and there was so much stuff that didn't to me like I believe I guess they'd execute him quickly but not if they'd set him up as this great hero of Iran I also think they would have been massively hesitant to trot him out like I get that we have to suspend some disbelief, but we shouldn't have to suspend that right. kind of disbelief. Right. They, like, the risk of Iran saying, 
the guy who bombed the CIA is here and we're treating him as a, we might launch a strike on that within two days. Mm -hmm. Like, and they would be, they don't want, they, yeah. believe, they don't want to be struck, you mm -hmm. know? So I just think that like they were like, like the propaganda purposes were, right. I, I didn't. And I, then the Western media is gonna now know that Brody killed the, the Akbari, so right. then clearly that raises the question of, oh, well then was he a mole? Did he not? Well, yeah, you know, I, you all of a sudden the CIA doesn't want people to talk about, it's gonna be emerged because it's a public execution and clearly there's some Al Jazeera cameras or something there where it's gonna find out, yeah, you totally kill him in his prison cell and make it look like a suicide or hush it up somehow. Right, and you make it look like Akbari was, uh, uh, had a heart attack. You know, yes. I mean, right. Uh, yeah. right. It's hard not to think about how, it, I, 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 it was hard not to think about how the American public was supposed to be dealing with this. Right. Taking this information. Taking this yeah. information about Brody in Iran. It's like, and I just think the show missed some opportunities to kind of give you the sense of what the American public would have been thinking. Mm. Or how the CIA I mean, would have spun it or covered it up like, or something. Like, you know how other shows yeah. will show like a fake Sunday news talk show and have people yeah. talking about it to right, give you a right, sense right, of right. like, you know, did that. there the, was like Sundays four months later they yeah, did that. Yeah, right. I mean, the, spinning headlines, something. But <laughs> I think they needed, they clearly needed, they wanted to wrap up this Iran story so that they could just start fresh next season. Definitely, but I, I just think that you know killed bravely on the battlefield for mm -hmm. Brody and then and they lie about who it was they they, they name somebody else so yeah. only a few people know that it was Brody like it just sure. you're right Americans would be asking a zillion questions make relevant it, make I it the guy that Javadi shot in the face you know it's making me think that, that when that when that when that IED went off a couple of episodes ago, they should have killed Brody right then. Right, I agree. I, agree. No, no, I, think their, I think their thought process in terms of the discussion of whether this episode could have been two, I think in their minds they already divided the final episode into, episode into two episodes. That's right. Because they went, we'll have the question as to whether he's on our side, mm -hmm. and then we'll have a, the second episode of him just getting out. Right. I think yeah. they that could have been one episode in some other show where it's like he goes, he kills the guy, he leaves. Theirs was like he kills the guy, oh crap, he's in the office. Now he's going to leave. Okay. See you next week. Now let me complain about some other stuff because I just okay. badly want to. And I, look, I liked it as always. I, I liked it. It was satisfying. I'm glad they cleaned the slate. We should have seen, after many people complaining that we saw too much of them, like, it, for Brody's all the family? like of all the things <laughs> yeah, they set up about Brody's yeah. family, and then not to have them react to his death, we have I to know. get that next season. Mm -hmm. Like I'd prefer to. So or, or are we ever going to see them again? Because if next season, if next season is actors, Carrie in Istanbul, I think they're all like. Those act, apparently, those actors aren't coming back. Yeah, and Morgan Saylor and, uh, and and Monaco. And then Chris, what if Chris? What Which if, one's the son? Chris Brody. Who, Brody, Chris Brody. Nobody, Brody. Never nobody, nobody, to nobody, nobody, nobody gives it. I read some, I think it was either the Huffington Post or the Week, but the last we saw Chris, he was just sort of sadly unloading the dishwasher while his sister left the house. <laughs> his dad doesn't give a shit about him. Yeah. I would love to see the show, like all those characters together, like the ones who were just kind of cast off by shows and not really followed up on in the purgatory they're in forever. Also, they should bring back in treatment and make those characters <laughs> be the patients. <laughs> Why give us all that stuff with Brody's family all year if we don't pay it off? Like, like, at least with a moment of Carrie, I thought we'd get some of the schmaltzy stuff of Carrie maybe going to, to, the, to, to, the, motel. to, to the motel and saying, hey, look, I can't tell you, I can say your dad died bravely and he I'm carrying girl. your little no, sister. We never saw you know? Farah again. We never saw, uh, yeah, we, never saw we never yeah. saw the, 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 lawy the, the lawyers for, you know, yeah, the, right, 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 I mean, guys. not that I like, like this technique in other shows, like Sons of Anarchy does it like three times an episode where you get the montage where you go through every single character over a song, like what they're doing at a given right, moment. Right, right. <laughs> the last episode of Six Feet Under. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But, yeah, so, yeah, so, Sons of Anarchy, right, but does like, that every week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but maybe Homeland actually could have used one of those. Like, so you at least see, you know, you at least see uh, Martin Donovan like looking sternly like somewhere like you know about his 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 client uh, the nation of Iran like changing or or whatever I mean that that, that, that would have been like really hilarious so if you write homeland fan fiction this is a wealth <laughs> opportunity for you and then like so like a couple of things Brody they're watching her in the hotel when she checks in right uh -huh. but then she's pretty free to walk out on the balcony and talk about the oh, CIA the operations <laughs> loudly in English. Oh, like, goodness. like I, they bug, I guess, well, they didn't bug the balcony. They didn't bother. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. Bathroom. Just the bathroom. Just the bathroom, let alone I, another guest wandering, and that woman <laughs> speaking in English on a satellite phone about some crazy shit. I'm just going to drop a line. Yeah, and I'm also <laughs> thinking, like, the safe house, there's someone down the street going, like, there is this loud <laughs> argument in English. <laughs> and I look, and there's no glass on those windows. It's just bars and open air. And, uh, and 
and then and then Brody, like he's what they've given up watching him entirely, so he can just be like, uh, hold my prayer rug. I'm just gonna take a call. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, like <laughs> I think the real reason they had to kill off uh, uh, Damian Lewis was because he said mean things about Sir Ian McKellen. <laughs> so you know, you're oh yeah, yeah. He talked about like if he had stayed in theater, he would have become fruity or something. It was really uh, bitchy. Okay. Then when. Brody was being moved from the palace to, I guess, for the meeting with the guy who he killed. What's his name? Oh, uh, Akbar. 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 Where they just where they meet in the street and then that's it. Yeah, and like that guy is like on a balcony with a. They used these big giant radios. Like all of a sudden it was like spy 1948, <laughs> and he's like staring at them. He's like 20 feet away on a radio, and they're coming out now. You know, I mean, like we're set to believe all of that to me dramatically took away from what I anticipated being this tension of being in this oppressive state mm -hmm. that's watching your every move, where I would imagine it's hard, but Carrie and the Israelis are driving right up to within a, like none of it to me yeah. established any degree of danger. I yeah, never not felt. Not only do you get your phone call, you get it on an iPhone. You right, know, right, like right, right. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's at the show in the first half of the season, it, it, it seemed to hint at complexity of its with its plot and like what they were trying to do and you feel like in these last few episodes they kind of just like put all that away and decided they were going to go in a straight shot yeah, toward the toward, toward the end of the Carrie and Brody storyline without really thinking about the ways that w through their spot through the spying and the subterfuge and the plan that they had that they had acknowledged com complexity I mean it was that, that was really right, unfortunate yeah, yeah, I thought I agree. that's that's I, that's a better way to put everything hey, that here's I a question said. about season four um, do we think Saul is coming back Yes. I think they set that up pretty explicitly with the, with well, are you going to come back if I ask you in a day? Mm -hmm. Just <laughs> so later when I ask that I need you, and, you will actually and show up. I bring in whoever I want. And she's, but it's, he's working in, I assume, private, private. intelligence. Yeah. So I think you have a storyline, you have all sorts of potential storylines with private intelligence services. I, I think that mm -hmm. really frees them up to make whatever satire, or, you know, commentary about that they want. Absolutely. Yeah. Baby's going to be really happy. It's going to be it's a great mom. Uh -huh. Right. Right. No father. Yeah. Crazy uh, lunatic headmaster mom. Trask from right. uh, working from son of a woman is going to take care of the baby. Granddad is raising that kid. Yeah. Uh, there's no way that that, that, that she baby will or will not be in Istanbul. In she is not schlepping that kid to Turkey. No. No, no, yeah. no. It's going to be the grandfather with some help from the other from the sister, but Carrie is not lugging that kid. No. Um, and I guess Quinn, like he, of this moment where Quinn is done at the CIA, nope. But by the end, yeah. just no, he's, no, he'll stay. I'm good. I no problem with Quinn showing and up I'm sure and he'll be probably put him on the Istanbul team. I yeah. imagine he'll be there. <laughs> what are they going to do with Istanbul and Turkey? Like, what's well, that? I can imagine that the whole episode could take place, you know, there. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. She's it's next door to a bunch to help of stuff. Run, to help run uh, that guy. What's his name? What's Sean Taub's name? Uh, Javadi. Javadi. Yeah. Yeah, right. So, sense. but that seems done. First of all, we should give him credit for stumbling into a plot line that, I mean, now all of a sudden we're thinking, is this what happened? Is this why we were able to sort of broker this deal with right. Iran? Did we, did we Did we have a vault in there? There's like us? all the, pe the consultants are all people who are actually making this happen. And right. this is part of their PR push to make it acceptable <laughs> to the body pocket. Um, so, but I don't know. I, I, I don't know who will be back. I guess I don't know if it'll be in, obviously we don't know whether it'll be in Istanbul. But that's intriguing to have sort of in the Middle East a whole new right. And Turkey is like an interesting place to put totally, things, yeah. yeah. Because all its neighbors to the right are really crazy, and yes. all the neighbors but to the no left. Half Asia also, and half Europe. But there's right. all, all, also no reason since uh, we've had three seats. I know Turkey's not in the Middle East. I'm just saying that's where they run the sort of Middle East operations. Opera, just yes. to no, we, take Asia that. Minor. Just, just take that comment back, okay? <laughs> also, <laughs> Istanbul was Constantinople, but now it's Istanbul, not Constantinople. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, yeah. yeah. But you could, like, uh, no, with these, these three seasons have taken place over, like, a span of, like, how many months? Not, about, not a whole lot of months. So you could actually move the show ahead two years if you wanted to at this point. That's right. That's right. True. That kid yeah. doesn't have to be just born. That kid yeah. can be, can now be three. <laughs> It'll be like a soap opera. It goes from infant to yeah. like you know teenager. <laughs> three and recruited. I want to say I'm like <laughs> three years old and recruited by the CIA. Baby's first yes. bomb vest. You know. <laughs> a nice scene with Tracy Letts telling her why he, that he wasn't going to give Brody the star. Right. I thought that mm -hmm. was nice. Yeah. And, and then I thought when she said when that incredibly hacky line comes up with the, you know. Uh, uh, the director needs you, uh, Carrie. There's a situation, and she has to leave Saul, and Saul walks out, and, 
And then I, it's unclear whether she wrote the star on the way to that. I guess apparently not an important situation because she certainly <laughs> took her time. Uh, maybe she'd already met with him, but I thought we might get a scene where, uh, where he gave sort of a, like a private start. Like we're never going to acknowledge this, right. but yeah. which I'm sure exists in the CIA, probably. Right. We, yeah. the, the guy from uh, yeah. we, uh, the guy from uh, Argo got it, and you know, right, and then right, they, right. they gave it to him, and then they, they took it back. And they took it back, <laughs> right? Yeah. 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 I, yeah. The, the, there's a situation is the kind of thing somebody tells you like to get you out of a terrible party conversation. Totally. Yeah, right. uh, you need to come with me. There's a situation. Yeah. <laughs> but I do think it's funny also that like you know with last season people complaining about the whole you know the the pacemaker bit and all of a sudden that turned out to be like a real thing, and now the story the storyline this season turned out to be a real thing with totally. that with the news with the news of that guy who's like like somewhere missing in Iran and, and the CIA wasn't claiming him and the FBI wasn't claiming him. I was like. Like, well, there you go. There's this this storyline of this season in the newspaper. Well, it's a flawed show, but it's a prescient one, goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't the it was the little stuff that they got wrong. It was the phone conversations. Right. It was the it was the again the, as you said the inability to build sort of tension where they had in the beginning, mm -hmm. where they got that complexity in the beginning, and then they just sort of they just sort of gave up, and things became incredibly easy. Yeah. I liked how Saul was the first guy in the history of television, though, to not be able to get out of his office with one box with a plant coming out of it, you know? <laughs> uh, well, I've been here for 20 years, but they all fit here. Yeah. yeah. So uh, anyway, look. a grocery bag with one baguette. Totally. Right? <laughs> that's, 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 that's all anybody needs for dinner anywhere. Just a, uh, I, you know, look, I'm sorry to see it go. If it were on again next week, I'd, you know, I'd watch it eagerly. I, you know, I, I I finally got over the whole. Okay, fine. It was they were they were all in on it, and Carrie went to the booby hatch on purpose, and yada da. But now this ending just I don't know, it does it does feel really hasty, and it feels like they set they they were. They like, like there was an outline for a richer uh, resolution than there wound up being in the, the these last couple episodes seem a little hurried, but you know I I, I'm, I I will I'll be curious to see where this goes now that it's just the Carrie show and not the Carrie and Brody yeah, show. I, mean, when, 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 yeah. I think when I complain about the show here, I complain within a context of defending it. I really I, I bristle at all the people who write about how I'm not going to watch Homeland anymore. Now it's like, well, I mean, look, what show can survive having the, one of the greatest first seasons? ever right. of any show. I mean, how do you survive that? Mm -hmm. And I think the show has been pretty valiant about trying to, even if it doesn't do it, so I, I stick with it. They've had great, great moments, even in the last two years. Yeah. It just hasn't been nearly as consistent right. as season one. No, I, look, I am, I'm not only uh, going to watch season four, I am looking forward to season Absolutely. four. Totally, yeah. yeah. Why Claire Danes, I thought, did a great She's job. Great. There were of fewer course, moments yeah. where I'm like, come on, Clary, stop, <laughs> stop Temple Grandining all over my face. <laughs> but uh, I thought she did a great job. And I want to point out that one scene with her and Javadi that was where he's like, you know, the problem is, like, I'm afraid he's going to disappear. And I thought they were introducing Javadi as, like, this mastermind who was able to manipulate so flawlessly. I, he had this conversation with Carrie, which seemed like it was so grounding, so grounded, and explaining to her how he gets her and right. her being emotionally vulnerable at that time and, and, you know, emoting and him giving her the olive branch of, like, all right, we'll give you that last phone call. Now they have a connection. Uh, hopeful, and then maybe next season I'll be able to look back at that and see that he was laying the groundwork for something maybe bigger and more nefarious a, as he tries to get out of whatever he's being, being blackmailed for. He's a good actor, yeah. Uh, yeah. a very yeah, good actor. actor. But like even then with some scenes with them, like their, conver that last scene was great, but like their conversations were very milk toasty and not and devoid of tension and super loud and in English. Like there was just yeah. no, they, they yeah, we'll be like, oh, I got this meeting here. Hey! My CIA contact. What's going on? Yeah. I want to have a private conversation. I, let's go into the atrium with a thousand <laughs> windows. And stand in the middle of it. Yeah. And it's just like, echoing it's, enough. It's the kind of conversation they have on Archer, you know. Like, <laughs> tell them I'm a spy. You know? <laughs> but that said, when he, the scene where uh, Brody goes into the chamber of secrets there uh -huh. in Tehran, and he doesn't know what Brody's going to say, and he's like, eh, time for lunch. And he sort of skulks out, you know, puts on a, gets in the car trying very hard not to rush, puts on his sunglasses. Like, that was all very subtle. Yeah. And I thought, and is he even going to know when yeah, they when call him? When does he find out when what does actually he happened? But we yeah. don't know. We, right. we have no moment of tension there with whether Brody has actually revealed him or given him up. Mm -hmm. And the CIA turning on Brody, like, in one conversation, like, they've gone six days, and then all of a sudden, yeah. you know, uh, F. Murray Abraham comes in with Tracy Letts, and they're like, no, nope, it's time, and yeah. Saul's like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It did, it all, all the same thing. Felt yeah. super hasty.
Right. All right, we'll be back next year, and then we have to uh, have a conversation about what, uh, well, you know, what, what's next? What's the next big show? What should everybody be watching? Next big show? Yeah, what's starting up? Besides Archer season five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I love Justified. I don't know who likes Justified, but I love Justified. I love that Justified. comes back in January, and I'm love excited about that. I love it to death. The Americans is back. Oh, The Americans is back, and I really like, I like yeah. that show, too. Uh, I haven't seen season one. I'll be watching that over uh, Christmas. That's I'm a good, that'll be a good one on, to watch over Christmas. Coming up on America. All right, guys. Thank you.